Hey, what is up guys? This is Anthony, aka BatBomb82, and today I'll be doing a review of the Funko Pop Hot Topic exclusive Steampunk Batman. Now, Steampunk Batman is actually based on a 1989 publication of a storyline called Gotham by Gaslight. Now, Gotham by Gaslight takes place in the year 1889, in which Bruce Wayne travels to London and meets with the famous psychiatrist known as Sigmund Freud. Upon meeting Sigmund Freud, Bruce Wayne tells him about his reoccurring nightmare in which his parents are murdered in front of him. Shortly after his therapy sessions with Sigmund Freud, Bruce Wayne returns to Gotham City and meets an old family friend known as Jacob Packer, in which Bruce Wayne refers to as Uncle Jake. Shortly after, Bruce Wayne decides to take up the mantle as Batman and fight crime in the streets of Gotham City. During this time, mysterious murders of women start occurring all over Gotham, those reminiscent of those of Jack the Ripper. It is quickly believed that because the murders have started occurring the exact same time Batman has arisen in Gotham City, that he is the Ripper. Soon after, a city-wide investigation occurs which forces Gotham PD to investigate Wayne Manor. Upon their investigation, they find a bloody knife under Bruce Wayne's bed and Bruce Wayne is quickly arrested. He's then taken to trial with his old family friend Uncle Jake as his lawyer. Bruce Wayne is found guilty and thrown in Arkham Asylum on death row. While imprisoned, he is given bits of evidence by Jim Gordon to help find the real Jack the Ripper. And the day before his execution, he breaks out of Arkham Asylum with the assistance of Alfred. Once freed, Batman quickly goes on the hunt to find the real Jack the Ripper. Batman then encounters the Ripper just before he murders his final victim. Batman takes down the Ripper and quickly finds out that Jack the Ripper is actually his old family friend, Uncle Jake. Batman then asked him why he committed all those murders. Jacob then reveals that he was madly in love with Martha Wayne, Bruce Wayne's mother. She constantly rejected his advances toward her, causing him to go mad and insane and murder all these women that reminded him of Martha Wayne. He is then imprisoned and that's where our story ends. So now that you have a better idea of where steampunk Batman comes from, let's take a closer look at the box. Now taking a look at the front, we can see that the figure is showcased in your standard Funko Pop window box packaging. We can see that he is numbered at 120, and we could also see the Hot Topic exclusive sticker on the front. Turning the box around, we can see a large Batman logo in the center, an image of steampunk Batman on the left, and a purple cog motif in the back. So with the box out of the way, let's crack this figure open and see what we have inside. Alright guys, and let's go ahead and open up Steampunk Batman here. Uh, really stoked and kind of surprised they did this one. Um, you know, for most of those that read the comic books, uh, he's known more by Gotham by Gaslight Batman. Um, that's pretty much what he is. Um, but you know, Hot Topic being what it is, and being a Hot Topic exclusive, they figured Steampunk would be a little bit of a cooler name, but is what it is. So here he is, Steampunk Batman, and this guy is freaking amazing. I love this a lot. Beautiful, beautiful head sculpt. I love how we get the stitching right up here across the cowl. Uh, really nice sculpted goggles. Uh, lots of detail, there you can even see the little rivets right there on the side of the eyes and whatnot. Really nice silver paint, the strap goes all the way around the back. Uh, I love that it's a different finish than the actual cowl itself, it's a little more glossy. Uh, the cape looks really, really good. I've always loved how this like particular type of cape uh, kind of drapes over the shoulders right there. Um, and then to the back like that, you can see it's like two separate pieces. Which I think is really, really cool. Love how the cape just flares out like that. Um, I love the pose that he's in, it's really, really nice. Uh, it's a little different than what we're used to seeing with um, Batman Pop uh, figures. Uh, really nice Batman logo uh, right there on the chest, really nice and clean. Uh, dig that quite a bit. Uh, you can even see he has like uh, like silver, I don't know if those are supposed to be, looks like knives right there, right on his um, utility belt, which look really, really cool. I like that a lot. Uh, really love the paints, they're simple colors. 
uh, just you know blacks and different uh, shades of gray and whatnot but they came out really really clean you can see the different two-toned uh, gray from the pants to his uh, the top of his suit right there then you got more of a, a glossy black for the boots uh, it's really really cool really long pointed ears which I think looks, is really befitting I really like that a lot and then you just do get your standard motion uh, with a lot of these pops just left and right just like that so overall, I really do think this is such a badass looking uh, Batman pop figure. It really does stand out amongst the other collections when a lot of pa uh, Batman pop vinyls are mostly just color variants of each other. This guy utilizes uh, and a whole new sculpt for literally everything. So I think for that alone, he is definitely worth picking up. So for a quick size comparison, here he is standing next to a Marvel Legends Captain America figure as well as a DCUC Batman figure. And for your Funko Pop comparison, here he is standing next to the first release Funko Pop Batman. And just for fun, here he is standing next to Little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is guys, my review of the Funko Pop Hot Topic exclusive Steampunk Batman. And if you're a huge fan of the Gotham by Gaslight storyline, then I think this figure is definitely a must get. It is absolutely one of the most unique Funko Pop Batman figures that we've ever received. So please comment, like, and subscribe. Stay nerdy, my friends. Peace.